well I'm waking up here. It's about 7 a.m. here at Byer Lake. This has just been an awesome camp. I'm really enjoying my setup here, just hanging out on the grass. I got the whole place to myself. It's just beautiful here. Waking up this morning, hearing the birds chirping. It's supposed to be hot today, so it's nice that it's overcast this morning, so get a little break from the sun till it clears up. Yesterday it was overcast all day until about 3.30 p.m., 4 p.m., then it cleared right up and you could really feel the heat. I actually got a little bit of a sunburn. I was walking around with my shirt off most of the day. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to get up, get my day started, get some coffee going. I'm really pleased that there's not a lot of bugs here, uh, really no mosquitoes at all. During the day, there's been these, they look like house flies, but they actually bite, and uh, it it's a painful bite, and then is itchy like a mosquito. Um, and they haven't been too, too bad, but they are here. And I'm really impressed. I thought there would be swarms of mosquitoes in the morning and p.m. hours, but uh, not at all. I was out last night after dark, and uh, just really pleasant here. Super, super pleasant. So I'll probably just be doing some more swimming today. I got some video editing to work, some other online stuff to do. I got a good strong cell signal here so I can use my mobile internet. And other, other than that, I'm going to do some organizing on the van as usual. That's just an ongoing thing. Cooking my meals. Uh, it's just living the simple life. It's surprising how just the simple basic task of eating, doing a little cleaning, uh, the day really goes by quick. I'll be jumping in the water probably quite a few times throughout the day today. So I'm just looking forward to a very peaceful, relaxing, enjoyable day. Alright, there we are. We just got a fried egg, some fried onions, a slice of Canadian bacon on an English muffin. I'm going to take a little bit of my favorite Cholula Original Hot Sauce. And I am about out of this hot sauce. It's time to restock. I'm going to go sit outside and enjoy my breakfast. Well, that turned out amazing. The fried onions really set it off. I love that Cholula Hot Sauce. It's not too, too spicy. Just get the flavor. We have to go get another bottle. I'm just about out. Well, I'm just taking a little walk around this morning here. This is this little point that uh, I really didn't walk over to yesterday. You can tell it's a little neglected. There's an old swing set here. It's actually an area with a volleyball net. Looks like the net needs a little attention. The area here is a little overgrown with weeds and stuff. You could still get away with playing some volleyball in here. Not barefoot, but... And then there's two uh, horseshoe pits. One set over here, one set over on this side, so you can get some horseshoes going. Just really nice. I'm going to go ahead and walk out to this point here. Oh, look at, there's actually horseshoes here. That's awesome. Actually may hang out and uh, throw a few horseshoes. I've got anyone to play with, but doesn't mean I can't throw them around.
All right, so I just wanted to show an item that I've gotten recently that I've used a few, couple times and it's been working out really well. Uh, it's a kitchen item and it's something that I've wanted for a while and I finally found one for a decent price on Amazon, so let's check it out. Okay, so this is it here. It's a very small pressure cooker. It's a 1.5 liter pressure cooker. I've used it a couple times and it works out really good. Um, it just works like your standard pressure cooker. It's just a very, very small size. I'll show you how it looks on the stove so you can get an idea of the size. Okay, and here's what it looks like on my camp stove. As you can see, it's very small. It's extremely efficient and small and camping friendly. That's why I got it. And like I said, the main reason I got this is to cook more rice. And so far, that's really been working out. I've been eating a lot more rice with my meals. And it's just, you know, it's a cheap food. And with this, it saves the amount of fuel that I would use to cook rice. You know, the other option would be to go with an electric rice cooker. But those things really, really tax your batteries. And I do a lot of my cooking after the sun has gone down. And it's just, it just doesn't work out for me in my situation. If you were hooked up to shore power, rice cooker, electric rice cooker would be the way to go. But for me, this little pressure cooker, I'm able to cook rice a lot quicker using a lot less fuel than I would cooking it traditionally in just like a saucepan. Okay, we'll just kind of show you how it works real quick. This is very simple design. Uh, Hawkins is known for this style. They don't have the locking screw-on type lid. It's actually done a little differently. There's a little latch in back. You squeeze that, release the latch, and then you have to turn this about 90 degrees and pull it out. The opening in the top is actually oval as well as the lid, so it just doesn't go in there. Uh, the design is, is that the rubber grommet is on the top of this, so when you slide it in there at an angle, dip it down in there, bring it back, there's this little post here, you get the arm on that post, that's kind of the fulcrum point, make sure that your seal is centered, give it a squeeze, latch your latching back, and it's good to go. I am going to do, I had really good luck doing like a curry chicken rice, um, I, I think it was the last night or the night before. So I'm going to try to do that again. This time I have this canned it's tomato, corn, and butter beans. And then I also have some fresh carrots that I'm going to slice up. And then a little bit leftover black beans that I rinsed and put in a bag. So I'm just going to put all those together with the rice and chicken. Season it up with the curry powder and a couple other seasonings and enjoy. I really like the flavor of curry, so I should be good. Okay, I got the rice rinsed. So I just realized I had some celery in the fridge. I've been doing peanut butter on celery for snacks during the day. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up some of this. i got a little bit more room left in the pot, so I'll probably just do one stock here. All right, and that's about as full as that you would want to get this pressure cooker. Three quarters full is the max, and it is time to cook. Time to shut her down. All right, so that's all there is to it. I just turned the flame off. Now it's just gonna sit, continue to cook under pressure till it cools and starts to lose pressure. So I'll go outside, hang out, enjoy the cool breeze, come back in when it's cool, and enjoy some nice chicken and rice vegetable curry. Oh my gosh, when I open that up, it smells so good. Wow. I added less water this time. The rice is done. Yeah, so it turned out really good. Everything's cooked perfectly. 
Uh, the rice is plenty cooked, all the vegetables, the flavor is awesome with that curry powder. Added just enough salt, so yeah, this is awesome. I'm on my second helping here, so probably have a couple more servings that I can bag up and put in the fridge and heat up for another meal tomorrow.